This is the beginning of the left border. So this is going to be LS1. And it is another modified block in the English paper piecing. So here's our modifications. It's just done a little bit in the tip here, reduced a lot of these stripes. Because of that, I did have some color choices I had to make that um, I probably would have changed. I probably would have done this, um, this as background, and I could still change that. But um, assembly of this is going to be interesting. The tip is kind of self-explanatory. Make this a row, attach these together, make the tip. This section is going to be a little different. English paper piecing, you can pretty much do whatever pieces first. Um, this is going to be kind of tricky for me. I might do this row with these three pieces and attach it to here and maybe make this in the middle and then attach these. I might, I don't really know how this is going to go because it's a very strange assembly, but um, I'll see how this goes once I start getting these basted. Um, I do have my block laid out. If I can move my book without shifting the pieces. And this is my tip here. I got these two in the same, same color. Like I said, I should probably change that to background, but I can choose that later. Basting on these is the same as they'd always usually do. I'm going to short sides first on these and then the long sides. My basting on my triangles would be determined based on the way I need to have the tags moving. Um, this is going to be symmetrical around. So I do the small sides here before I do the rest of them. That kind of a thing. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to base this center section here and then work on, like I said, I think I'll move this into a row and then I can attach this and make this into one piece. So I'll get working on that right now. So I've basted these four pieces. I've assembled this into a row and so that I don't get it all mixed up, I'm going to just attach it here because if I do this row without attaching this one, I might get them confused. So I'm going to attach this and then I will attach this and then I'll form this into a row and then I'll put it on here. Okay, so I've taped this and one side's going to line up exactly with this diamond shape. But because you've got some thickness added here, make sure that this point matches this other point right here when you sew it together so you can take up any excess in the middle here. So like everything else, start from one side, tie off, line it up, and then start and work your way in, taking up stuff as you go. So I've stitched this side to the center portion. So I've got that piece with this section here on the very bottom. And so then I'm going to attach this piece to here. So, so far I have assembled these 17, 14, 13, 11 onto 10. I've basted number 22. So this is what I have right now. And I'm going to take this, if I can flip it over, and stick this where that belongs. So I've got this other edge attached. Now I'm going to connect these three into a line like I did here. And then I'll be able to get connected to this other side. So right now you should have this connected together. Now that these three pieces are connected, I will put them on the main unit in the middle. So I've got this side attached. So this whole center portion here around number 10 has been assembled. So I'm going to set this aside. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to attach 15 and 16 and that's going to make this line continuous right here so then I can attach 12 and make this one big piece to then put on the center. So I'll base these. I'm going to base this with my tags going in. So I'm going to base these two sides first and then this one so that it doesn't, these tags don't get involved in these seams. They're going to be pointing this way and this way. And this one I'm also going to do 
this one last as well so my tags are going away from this seam this doesn't matter which one it goes first but and then these I'm gonna um, do this one first and then this one and then these two so I'll get those basted okay so I've basted these pieces I basted those I've put those together already but I basted these I did this side first then this way then that one and this this one and then that one and this is a mirror image so this is going to go together right there and then I've already sewn this one together so this is going to be this piece right here 16 and 15 and they are going to go on the edge of this edge right here of 12. So I got this piece all basted and so now I'm going to attach it to this section. So now I've got this seam connected. So I've got all of this should look like that right now. And now this piece is going to go on here. And this edge here is going to be lined up with this edge. So you're going to have one big continuous line when you're done. So I've got this seam all attached and right now when you flip it over you should have this. This line is going to meet and this is going to be a visual continuation here. So and then I've also got this edge here. So this I'm going to set aside. I've basted and attached these pieces here which is 21 and 23, 24, yeah 24, 21, 24 and then we're going to base 23 and attach it in the same manner and do that same thing on that side. Okay, so I got this connected and so now I've got three pieces on my corner unit and I will attach it to this side. So I've attached the right side over here. So now you should have a piece that looks like this from the front. And so the next section here would be to attach triangles 8 and 9, which are right here. So I'm going to base these two and then base this one last so I can get the tags to go away from this and be outside into these bigger seams. And the same thing here, just this is going to be this way. And then I can attach it to this line here that goes from this fold to this fold. Now these folds may not be a completely accurate to so make sure you feel for the paper piece because an obtuse angle doesn't fold the fabric at the exact right spot. So go ahead and line that up with the edge here and it'll be alright. So I've attached this triangle and I've basted this one with the big tags going away from the seam and I will attach it to here. So I've attached the other triangle, so I've got this whole top portion assembled. So now it's time to work on the tip. I have um, all of these. Now I had this tip I had originally laid out in red, but it's not going to be distinctive. So I'm going to change it. I had a piece of background I'm going to change it over to. So I'll take this piece off of here and then I'll, I'll reapply it onto this. And these I'm going to baste. I'm going to assemble this unit here right here and then I can attach it to these and then work my way down the tip. You want to make sure that your angles are going to be lined up right as well because otherwise you can get this tip effect either way. So I'm going to check that as I go too. So I've basted my pieces. I've got this so that my tags are going away from the center. So I'm going to put this together and I basted this one and I've changed my tip color so I'm going to have you know, a nice stripe and distinctive here. So I'm going to, um, let me assemble this unit and then I can attach it to this. So my unit is complete and I will attach it to my other bar. So I've attached my two sections together, but just a little note here. You want to make sure that these are lined up. We talked about that, but when you assemble this, because there is a diagonal here, it's, it's, you're not going to get a precise, exact thing. You're adding fabric here. You've got a lot, you know, all this stuff that's going to be, you're going to have more growth in this point than 
say in a 90 degree seam. So you really want to make sure that you line this up. See, even if even this is a little off, but it's very dimensional. And as long as I can keep it, I can fix that with when I attach it to the solid triangle. But I I started and then I came in and top out here and then I tied off. And then I had to come back over here to line this up because if I don't do that, it's going to be really off. And because it's a triangle and it's an edge, it does matter more than you would think. Um, and you notice it in the end result. So I'm going to um, I'm going to have to check this because I haven't checked this against this. So I'll have to take the paper out. And you're, what you're seeing is this dimensionality because of the fact that it's that this is a little bigger than this because this is one single piece of paper. So I'm going to take this out of my box and I'm going to put it on there and see how it compares so that when I baste and attach this piece it keeps lining up or corrects any minor issues because that's again like we get that Charlie Brown Christmas tree tip thing going on if you're not careful because you want to make sure that when you put this in the border that the, that the angle is correct. So I'm going to get into that. So I've basted and I've taped my piece that goes underneath here, my number three bar. And when I did that, I lined it up with the bottom of this triangle. And then I've got this spacing here because it wasn't exactly correct. So I'm going to leave it like that, but I'm going to sew it together and pull it so that it's lined up right because the, the the line is good so I don't want to like mess it up but I want to be able to get to the edge of the paper in this triangle and so this gap is going to have to be I'm going to stitch across the gap and just pull it really tight so I've attached my bar number three so we're doing good on the angles so now we're going to go to number two that I've based it already over here and we'll be able to attach it to that side. So I've attached my number two bar and so then we're still checking the angle still and we're good to go on that. So I'm going to baste my number one tip. I'm going to baste these sides first and then I'm going to do this so that I don't have any um, tags going towards this seam. So it'll go out on both sides. So I've got my number one tip on my rest of the tip assembly. So now all that's left is to put this on to this that I've made before. So I've connected the tip to the main portion and my LS1 triangle is now completed.